four hogs, one banshee, and you'll get. And after that, you probably can understand what I'm getting at. So I'm going to vehicles, edit types, add vehicle, go up, go to the vehicle section, put a banshee, banshee underscore MP. Now, when you're making a multiplayer map, and if there happens to be an MP version of a vehicle, you're going to want to add it. Warthog. And the ghost. So we'll add three vehicles. No tanks on this on my map, I decide. You know, you decide what you want to put on. If you want to put custom vehicles in, make custom textures or anything, I have other tutorials that show you how to do more. So now I'm gonna right click on the blue side, and just so you know, blue is one, red is zero and that's the multiplayer index so right now we have I'm gonna add a, uh, a ghost so here's our ghost down here and uh, I'm gonna take this blue thing marker and turn him around so he's kinda facing the enemy here. maybe an angled in I suppose like that and since this is on the blue team I'm gonna put this to number one for one for blue, zero for red. And now I'm going to spawn another one with ID of, of one, two. Now, behind here, I'm going to spawn uh, some warthogs. There we go. Right there. Make sure that you have the ID of one. Okay, turn them in there. So then we got our two. Um, Two warthogs, and then after that, right up here, kind of gonna spawn the banshee. Spin that around. Bring that back just a little bit here. Oops. Keep spinning it. You gotta grab the gray part. It's a little bit hard. Here, if you get a little bit closer, you can. Uh, there we go. That's better. So now, uh, with this configuration, I'm going to go on the other side and create our red setup. So right click, change the IT to zero, and select the ghost. Go on the other side, spawn the ghost. Make sure you get that blue thing to, sp to, put it, to spin it around. Okay, now time for the warthog. There we go. Spin it around. On the other side, Got another warthog. Kind of up here. We're gonna change it to banshee. Spin it around. That's good enough. Okay, so now that we got our vehicle set up, gonna go to player starting positions and go ahead and make some for the PSP the uh, team index zero which is red and change it to all games just place uh, several by the uh, spawn some back here some over here that's a fair amount. Okay, go over here. Remember to uh, spawn one. Change the team index to one. Spawn, 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 spawn. If you're over here, back here. That's a good amount. Okay, now that we're done adding our player spawns, gonna go ahead and start adding our weapons. So if you go to at game equipment, we can uh, start on the blue team. So I'm gonna put a shoddy and different stuff in here. I'm gonna right click to make a new instance. It says none, that's okay. I'm gonna go to your game types, all games. Click on the three dots down here, and this is an item collection like we did when we gave starting equipment, so I'm going to go to item collections, single weapons, 
and we're gonna put in we'll just put in shotgun put in another shotgun maybe in between there I'll put in a sniper rifle and then uh, put in a needler kind of a lesser weapon over here in the sides and then uh, I suppose by this tree I'll uh, spawn a frag grenade spawn four of those this is all on team BSP zero so we got some frag grenades put in some plasma grenades by this little confident storage device plasma grenades there we go and uh, perhaps in the middle ground kinda we'll plant, uh, place a rocket launcher just to kinda have a nice heavy weapon kinda out in the middle and maybe beyond this rock I'll go ahead and put a plasma rifle key to the map success just listen to me now don't put too many weapons in this is a lot for a map for any map the number of weapons I just put in that's a lot the biggest mistake people make when they make their maps when uh, when uh, making it is they put too much crap in and it just annoys people okay okay so now and it caused lots of lag like if you put in like more than probably ten view, uh, more than six vehicles on each team it's gonna lag them you know and the, all the trees they move slowly and um, Halo isn't the best engine some people would say it's a great engine but I you know it's older it's an older engine you gotta give it you just gotta be nice on it so I'm gonna create another one and change the team index to one and I'm gonna change this to the shotgun again two shotguns, then I'm going to make a third sniper rifle and over here we'll put the needler and then uh, over here put some frag grenades see this, oh yes, that's the rocket launcher so back here I'll put some select frag grenade There's some frags. I'll put a plasma rifle and right here put some plasma grenades. And one rocket launcher is good for one game, I think. Don't want it to be a rocket launcher fest. So now that we got our all our uh, weapons and player spawns and vehicles set up and scenery, gonna save the scenario, and it's uh, it's time to set up our net uh, net game flags. And the net game flags, they're uh, they are the thing like the CTF flag, King of the Hill, and stuff like that. So what you're gonna want to do? Go into net game flags. And the first thing it's going to be is on the CTF flag. So what we're going to do first is change our team index to zero and spawn. Now we're going to go and change our team index to one. Oops. Back zero. Spawn it. Change it to one. And uh, now for our next see it's gonna be CTF vehicle and you can set those up um, if you want but it's gonna show up in all games but you can if you want uh, and that's just setting all the vehicles to zero and then for the red team and one for the blue team now we're gonna do our oddball spawn and the oddball spawn is a little bit different I'm gonna right click and make a, another flag but we're gonna change it to oddball Okay, so here's our oddball spawn, and this is going to be 
oddball spawn zero. Make another. This is gonna be oddball ball, oddball spawn one. Make another. This 